Hello, today we'll be making roasted pork belly with salsa verde and garlicky white bean stew. I'm Chef Wes, and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School online. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our pork belly. First thing we're gonna do is start with our mix. So to get our mix prepared, we're gonna start using our fennel seed. So we've got some dried fennel seed, some dried rosemary, and some salt. And we're gonna begin by processing that to grind all those dry herbs. All right, now that that's got a nice grind to it, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of our citrus champagne vinegar as well as our garlic cloves. We then are gonna add some of our parsley paste. If you've never used this, this is a great product you can use for marinades, vinaigrettes. Uh, we're gonna use it today to make our filling. So we're gonna go ahead and add our parsley paste into our food processor, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on and start to process this, streaming the oil in slowly. Now that our mix is prepared, we're gonna go ahead and set that into a bowl and reserve it for later use. All right, now for the next step, we're gonna add our baking powder and our salt together. We're gonna mix this up, and this is gonna be used on the exterior or the skin of the pork. Now we're gonna go ahead and process our pork belly. So the first step in processing the pork belly is to actually go ahead and score both sides of the meat. We're gonna score the meat side of the pork belly to make sure that we have a lot of the flavors inside the pork. Then we're gonna actually flip the pork belly over and score the outside. We're actually going to remove a very small portion of the skin. And the reason we wanna do that is when we roll the pork belly, if any of the skin is tucked into the roll, it won't get crispy. So it's just a very small portion. So what we do is we start by scoring just underneath the skin until you can see that it has removed or separated from the pork. Now we're gonna take our chef's knife and we're gonna run right underneath the skin and then we're gonna begin to gently remove the skin from this section of the pork belly we're gonna go ahead and score the remainder of our pork belly. So on the surface, you can do this on an angle as well, and I like to make these a little bit closer together, which really allows the fat to render. So you don't wanna cut all the way through the skin, you just wanna make a little bit of an incision very finely on the surface to allow that fat to escape through the top and any steam to escape through the top as well. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put our salt and baking powder mixture onto the skin. So what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and place it on the surface of the skin, and then we're gonna rub it into where we've scored the pork. So this is very similar to uh, how you would make what we would call a porchetta, but the only difference is we're only using pork belly, and typically in a porchetta, you're gonna use the pork loin stuffed inside the pork belly. So now that we've got our baking powder and our salt rubbed in, we're gonna go ahead and flip our pork belly over and we're gonna take our filling and place that inside as well. So this was the filling that we had made earlier. We're gonna go ahead and place that in the center. And then again, using your hands, you're gonna rub this into all of the places that we scored earlier. Now I'm gonna take my pork and set it over here and we're gonna take a minute just to clean up the board. So this is a string that's been pre-cut, and the easiest way to do this is just to kind of slide it right underneath the pork belly, and then you wanna space these out as evenly as possible. So what I like to do is put all of these underneath before you begin the tying process. 
And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and roll our pork and tie. So the first step is tuck the pork onto itself and you'll see a little bit of the filling may come out. You can kind of pull it back in and then gently roll it over. Once you have it at this point, then you're gonna start with your middle string and tie a knot. Once you have a knot tied, you'll go ahead and take the other side of your string and tie another knot. This will allow your string to slide and then tighten on the pork belly. Then we'll do that same process with each additional string. Once all the excess string has been trimmed, you're gonna take your pork belly, put it on your tray, and chill it for at least two hours or overnight. So here's a pork belly that we did in advance, and it's had at least two hours with the rub on it. Now we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for two and a half to three hours. And I'm gonna go grab the ingredients for my stew. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get started with our stew. First, we'll start with some extra virgin olive oil. Next, we're gonna begin with our mirepoix, or our aromatics. Start with some onions, adding carrots and celery, and then garlic, our crushed red chili flakes, some dried rosemary, and then we're gonna add our garlic bouillon and our tomato paste. Now we're gonna go ahead and give this a stir. Make sure all of the paste is incorporated onto the vegetables. That will really help with the caramelization. And then we're gonna allow this to cook for about eight to 10 minutes until the vegetables are softened. Now that our vegetables have been cooking for about eight to 10 minutes and they begin to caramelize, we're now gonna go ahead and add a little bit of our wine. We're gonna cook this for about a minute, reduce it slightly before adding the remainder of our ingredients. All right, now that our vegetables have become extremely fragrant and our wine is cooked down, we're gonna go ahead and add our unsalted chicken stock. And then we're gonna start with our beans. We wanna let this all cook for about 15 to 20 minutes to really enhance the flavor of the stew. Give it a stir and then let it continue to simmer. Now that our beans have been cooking, we're gonna go ahead and add our kale in. And then we're going to cook the stew until the kale is tender. We're gonna go ahead and turn our oven up to 450 and let that pork get extra crispy on the exterior. Now that our pork is rested and we've removed the strings from it, we're gonna go ahead and trim the end piece off so we can get two nice clean cuts. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our beans, place this in the bottom of the bowl. Next, we're gonna take our pork and set that right on top. And we've also got a beautiful salsa verde to serve alongside of this and we used some fresh garlic, parsley, capers, and anchovies to make this great salsa verde. The acidity from the capers really helps cut through some of the richness of the pork belly. All right, let's give this a taste. Wow, the crunchiness Exterior on that pork belly is delicious. The acidity from that salsa verde just really rounds out the entire dish. That's a great dish. 
So click the link below for this full recipe and subscribe to the Publix YouTube channel and check out the Aprons Cooking School online playlist for more from our chefs. Thank you for cooking with us.